Tonight, sources tell CNN exclusively that the U.S. government has obtained intelligence that Saudi Arabia has significantly expanded its ballistic missile program through purchases from China, a move that challenges long-standing U.S. policy of, of preventing missile proliferation in the country and raising concerns of a growing arms race in the volatile Middle East. Many countries, including Israel and Iran, have missiles, and I think the Saudis, uh, they want their own capability, too. Sources also tell CNN the Trump administration initially left out the intelligence, which showed China secretly aided advances in both technology and infrastructure from a key Senate committee, prompting questions whether the Trump administration has implicitly given its okay for the advances. Right now, the situation is not acceptable. The dispute over the withheld intelligence spilled into the open during a Senate Foreign Relations Committee hearing with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in April. I'd like to flag for your attention a classified matter, the details of which I won't and can't discuss here, where we raised with the department an important issue that had not previously been shared with us, would not in fact have been shared with us had we not raised it with you, and may have made the difference in how senators voted on a particular matter. New Jersey Bob Senator Bob Menendez, who declined to discuss the issue or the underlying intelligence with CNN, only received a classified briefing on the matter after requesting one. Sources said Menendez was initially made aware of the Saudi advances from Democratic staffers, including one who had traveled to the region. The intelligence echoes a January Washington Post report citing satellite imagery that analysts said showed advances in Saudi infrastructure and technology, and new images taken just last month showing their activity has not stopped. With tensions escalating between Saudi Arabia and regional rival Iran, the move raises questions about whether the kingdom is taking a step forward preparing to seek a nuclear weapon, something Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman made clear could one day be on the table. Saudi Arabia does not want to acquire any nuclear bomb. But without a doubt, if Iran developed a nuclear bomb, we will follow suit as soon as possible. Pompeo blunt about the administration views of that reality. The Islamic Republic of Iran was permitted to continue its missile program under the JCPOA. It didn't slow them down. And so others are doing what they need to do to uh, create a deterrence tool for themselves. The Saudi embassy in the U.S. did not respond to CNN's request for comment. The Chinese foreign ministry did not deny the sales, but noted its strategic partnership with the kingdom, quote, does not violate any international laws, nor does it involve the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Crown Prince, thank you very much. The U.S. administration for months has made a concerted effort to strengthen allies in the region, most notably Saudi Arabia, even amid bipartisan uproar over the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi and the brutal war in Yemen, where the Saudis have fought against Iranian proxies and civilians have paid the price. They are an enormous support to us. We're aiming to keep that relationship with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The State Department declined to comment on classified material and said they expect the Kingdom to adhere to its commitment not to pursue nuclear weapons. And Wolf, this information comes at the same time that we learned two weeks ago the administration would be going around Congress to approve a weapons sales $8.1 billion to Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Lawmakers on a bipartisan basis, they are now pushing back on that, considering voting to cancel out that sale. Just another step in a process. One other thing to keep an eye on, there is a Saudi sanctions bill on a bipartisan basis that has been worked on. This is an issue that may come up with that as that moves forward in the weeks ahead.